Good evening, ma'am. Have you had anything to drink tonight? Officials say if you drink and get behind the wheel after the ball drops, you will hear these words during a night when they plan to be highly visible. People need to be aware that if you're drinking and driving, there's zero tolerance at this point. Um, you could risk losing your driver's license and being taken to jail. Police say even one drink can be enough for you to perform a field sobriety test. You can just follow the tip of my finger. We're going to perform a test of your eyes. That could lead to being breathalyzed and sent to jail to be booked and fingerprinted. It seems like when a police officer always pulls somebody over and asks them if they've been drinking, the common answer is always two. I've, all, I've only had two. So um, if, if you've had one beer, then I wouldn't drive at all. I wouldn't take the chance. To keep your friends in check and out of walking the line, officers say designate a sober driver because they'll be working diligently to keep the roads as safe as possible during one of the most deadly times for driving. And not only are officers keeping their eyes peeled for any impaired drivers on the road, they're also going to be keeping their ears open for a celebration tradition they say can turn deadly. Gunfire during midnight to ring in the new year is only a misdemeanor, but officials say the potential result can be much more serious. That bullet can travel up to a mile up in the air, and once it goes up, it has to come down. Discharging a weapon um, in the air could turn deadly. You never know where the, the bullet's going to land. Officers say the easiest way to have a holiday without handcuffs is to play it safe and use common sense. Colby Gallagher, Fox 31 News.